video we are going to solve one problem binomial distribution with respect to the case chi square test okay so let us see the question first a set of five identical coins is tossed 320 times and the result is shown over here you can see the table over here number of heads and the frequency is given we have to test the hypothesis that the data follows binomial distribution at one percentage of level of significance so i hope you understood the question so number of heads and the frequency so we know the experiment and uh, it is based on the binomial distribution i hope you know binomial distribution the formula is p of x is equal to n c x p of x q of n minus x this is a formula here we need to understand q we have to find p and q where p is the probability of success and q is the probability of the failure so if you know p then it is easy to find q so first we have to understand what is p p is something but the probability of heads is the case over here so probability of getting heads when a coin is tossed is 1 by 2 so probability p uh, will be 1 by 2 then what about q q will be 1 minus p which is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to again 1 by 2 so we have got p as well as q now we have to just substitute over here what is n over here n is nothing but 5 because it is given in the question a set of 5 identical coins is tossed that means 5 will be n so n also we got which is equal to 5 so we need to just substitute all the values and write the p of x value so p of x will be equal to 5 cx p is 1 by 2 1 by 2 power x into q q is nothing but you are replaced with 1 by 2 again power n minus x that is 5 minus x so here you can see we can just add both this because the base is same powers can be added so it will be 5 cx 1 by 2 power x x plus 5 minus x x x get cancelled x minus x get cancelled therefore 1 by 2 power 5 so this will be the equation for p of x now what we need to do is that we need to put it in the calculator and find the value of p of 1 to till how many values you have to find this is a little bit different question where we need to find p of 1 to p of 5 since how many and we have we have to calculate p of 0 also since it is it starts from 0 so these are the x values so x values is given over here x equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 so totally six values are there therefore you have to start with p of 0 till p of 5 we have to find out that means you have to replace x with 0 to 5 and find the values after that we will go for the expected frequency for that also we have different formula over here so this is a different case or different sort of problem so I have calculated all the from p of 0 to p of 5 till that I have calculated using that previous problem previous equation after that we need to calculate the expected frequency or the theoretical frequency for that we have one formula e of x is equal to p of x that's why we have calculated p of x values into summation of f we need to do this what is the summation of f over here it is nothing but 320 as uh, it is mentioned in the question itself 320 times the coin is tossed that means 5 identical coins is tossed 320 times that means f of x will be equal to 320 so therefore we have to calculate e of 0 that means e0 like e1 e2 e3 like that we have to calculate so e0 10 e1 50 just p of 1 whatever is there into summation 320 then p of 2 into this thing so that will give me e of 2 like that you have to calculate so this is a little bit different question so we need to calculate some we have to go for some certain steps before getting the e expected frequency so e of 5 also we got it as 10 
Now the thing here is that we have got all the expected frequencies and uh, the PO4 this thing also we got. Now we need to check one more thing that is nothing but the summation of E whether it is equal to summation of F. Summation of E you can see when you add all this up you will get it as 320 that means summation of E is equal to summation of F therefore we can go for the formula chi square magnitude we can find out. So it was already there the table so this is nothing but number of feds x this is f so this is f and this is the expected fact frequency that we have calculated just now so 10 50 100 100 50 and 10 so now we can go for the chi square magnitude that is given by f1 minus e1 the whole square by e1 plus f2 minus e2 the whole square by e2 like that so on okay so we can just directly substitute so 0 minus sorry here you have to take f and e so 6 minus 10 whole square by 10 square plus 27 minus 50 whole square by 50 square plus 72 minus 100 whole square by 100 square like that you have to calculate okay plus so I written all the values of chi square as you can see over here we are applied the same formula f1 minus f2 like that so on till the last pair that is 32 minus 10 the whole square by 10 so after doing all this you will get the chi square whatever the value as after simplifying this 78.68 so after getting this we have to test the hypothesis therefore we have to go for the critical value that we have to get it from the table chi square table so before that we have to go for degree of freedom so which is given by n minus m so where n is the number of frequency pairs here we have six minus the number of quantities we have used to calculate the expected frequency we have used only one quantity as i said we are using only f of uh, summation of f is equal to summation of e we are not finding any mean over here because since uh, the experiment is known now so we have got the value as 5 now the critical value depends on one more factor that is nothing but the level of significance here it is given one percentage level of significance therefore it implies that is 0.01 so we have to check on the table 0.01 level of significance and the degree of freedom as 5 what is the value of uh, critical value that is chi c square which is given as 11.07 now we need to test the hypothesis therefore we have to see whether chi square value belongs to minus chi c square plus chi c square interval or not so we have the value 78.68 whether it belongs to minus 11.07 comma plus 11.07 this is the question therefore it it clearly implies that here it does not belongs to this interval 78.68 which is chi square value therefore we reject the hypothesis therefore we reject the hypothesis so in this case the given data does not follow what binomial distribution so hence we have arrived at the conclusion that the given data does not follow the binomial distribution